Well, this came up today, and it's actually come up several times. Um, <clears throat> we've all probably at some point had some mess where uh, we had a session that had some tempo changes in it, and we go to Melodyne, a vocal, <clears throat> and Melodyne just starts freaking out, uh, playing things out of sync. Sometimes it's right, sometimes it's wrong. Seems to be no rhyme or reason. I've, e I've even had sessions um, that behaved fine on the day of the editing, and then I would open them up maybe the next day or down the road sometime, and um, suddenly the vocals are out of sync. <clears throat> and it's, it can be a disaster. It's it's a pain. So um, this came up with a, with a friend, a client today, um, where I had given him some sessions uh, that I had tracked. I'd made some a bunch of tempo changes um, to do some editing. And um, he went to Maldon a vocal, and you know, panic ensued. <laughs> so uh, I googled it. I didn't find any good dancers on Google. Really, it seems like everyone, like it's Solomoni themselves, have a stock answer they send out, which requires like all this crazy exporting a MIDI track of your tempo and re-importing that MIDI track into Melodyne, telling like so Melodyne can then see the tempo. But there's caveats like your session's got to start it zero hours, zero minutes, uh, all your tempo changes have to be on bar beat, I think, beat ones of any bar, which isn't the case in, in my session here. So anyway, it's not, it's not um, a solution. Um, but, so I fiddled with this for a minute, and um, I'm not claiming to have invented the wheel, but good lord, this isn't a big deal. Um, turns out, I don't know when this happened in Pro Tools, I, I seem to remember uh, the last time I turned off the time code rule, or maybe I lost my markers, but maybe I didn't. <laughs> but it turns out, um, you know, the workflow for doing some Melodyne work within a track that you've maybe been doing some Mastic Audio in, or for whatever reason you've created some tempo changes, is just turn them off. Um, and it turns out you can do that. So the simple workflow is simply to, you know, you'd want to make sure all your tracks are set to samples mode and not to ticks mode. Um, otherwise, things are going to snap. So make sure everything's in samples mode. If you've got any unrendered Elastic Audio tracks, you might be in trouble. Uh, you're going to have to render those bad boys, but um, turns out you can just go up here and turn off the conductor track and away go all your all that tempo information. Um, in my case, in this session, the manual tempo I'm left with is what we actually cut to, so there's still a, a you know, a, a decipherable grid there that I can certainly work with, um, and Melodyne's going to behave just fine. Uh, if I need to go back to maybe pin a tambourine, let's say, to my drums, uh, again, that's why I made all these all these markers. I'll just turn it back on. Uh, I didn't know. I never thought about it. But you can just turn it on and off. So that's it. That's your big workaround, kids. Just <laughs> it's really not a big thing. Just turn off your conductor track. Go about your business with Melodyne. Everything's gonna be fine. Uh,